Say goodbye to insomnia. Sleep solutions with soothing bedtime infusions. It is not pleasant to sleep little. Wake up in the morning and not feel rested, let alone spend an entire sleepless night. Unfortunately, today one out of two Italians say they do not sleep enough and do not feel rested. There are many possible causes that can lead a person to not rest enough, not sleep enough or even spend an entire sleepless night. In this video, we will see together which herbs and infusions can help us sleep better, have deeper sleep, and wake up rested in the morning. If you appreciate the video you watch and want to help us continue creating interesting content, we kindly ask you to consider the idea of subscribing to our channel and leaving us a donation to support us. Thanks to your support, we will be able to continue improving and offering you new insights. You can do it here below, through the appropriate buttons, subscribe, and thanks. Sleeping well is not a simple obsession of some wellness fanatic, it is a necessary need for each of us because sleeping badly, sleeping little and not waking up rested has a huge impact on your health. Lack of sleep is directly linked to an increase in depression, anxiety and panic attacks, the risk of developing diabetes, cardiovascular problems and even simply gaining weight. Let's say that you are perfectly aware that your nighttime habits are not ideal and you would like to have a good night's sleep, sleeping and waking up rested. You have tried some remedies, some advice that I have given you in other videos, but you do not see any benefits and continue to suffer from insomnia. Well, know that from the world of herbs, from the world of infusions, there are possibilities, there are aids that can allow you to overcome this phase of difficulty, that can help you fall asleep and therefore wake up full of energy, full of desire and with the desire to spend a beautiful day. The first drink I recommend for a restorative sleep is cherry juice. There are several varieties of cherries, there are red, yellow, purple, and there are also bitter or sweet ones. In general, however, all types of cherries can help you sleep better because they are rich in tryptophan. Tryptophan is the precursor of melatonin and by eating cherries in abundance or more comfortably by drinking cherry juice, you can increase this important amino acid that will promote the hormone melatonin, which is necessary to fall asleep. Among the most effective varieties, there is the amarina. In a study of only 7 days, it was seen that the 20 people who used amarina juice for 2 times a day increased the levels of melatonin in their blood in a very, very effective way. Let's say that you also have the problem of waking up frequently during the night and then having difficulty falling back asleep. Know that in this study done on 30 participants who drank cherry juice for 2 times a day, there was a drastic reduction in nighttime awakenings and an increase in the amount of sleep. If you have problems in particular with incontinence, if you see instead that the problem is the fact that you have to go to the bathroom often, the reason could be that you have excessive levels of glucose in the blood. In fact, waking up to go to the bathroom is one of the characteristic symptoms of high blood sugar. If you want to know what are the other signs, click here at the top because I have made a video that could give you valid explanations. The reason why you always have to go to the bathroom and wake up frequently during the night is because your body is trying to eliminate the excess glucose through the urine. A third study was done on people aged 50 and over. These people were given two cups of cherry juice a day to reach a total of about 500 milliliters. The result after three weeks is that these people on average have slept 84 minutes more than before the experiment, which means about one and a half hours more of sleep simply by drinking cherry juice. The second drink I recommend is chamomile tea, which is perhaps one of the most popular remedies for people who have difficulty falling asleep or suffer from insomnia. In fact, chamomile and chamomile tea in particular has always been used by medicine to help people not only to fall asleep but also in situations of inflammation and chronic pain. In a study done on 60 elderly people, it was seen that by integrating with 400 mg of chamomile extract, these people have had an improvement in the quality of sleep and the same thing happened to 80 women who by drinking two cups of chamomile a day have had a drastic reduction in fatigue, in the fatigue due to a lack of sleep. The third natural remedy for better sleep is ashwagandha tea. Ashwagandha is a root that comes to us from India and has been used for centuries in Ayurvedic medicine to cure arthritis, anxiety and depression. This root in the studies done both on mice and on humans seems to improve the quality of sleep and seems to facilitate the induction of sleep. In addition, if you suffer from chronic stress, anxiety and muscle contractions, know that the studies show that ashwagandha is very, very effective in lowering muscle tension and relaxing the muscles. A popular way to drink ashwagandha is in the famous recipe called moon milk, in which warm or hot milk is mixed with ashwagandha, cardamom, cinnamon and nutmeg. However, Keep in mind that although generally ashwagandha tea is well tolerated, 
It is not recommended in people with autoimmune diseases or in pregnant women. The fourth drink that can help you rest better is valerian tea, which is also very popular and well known. In fact, valerian, which is a root like ashwagandha, has been shown to be effective in promoting sleep and combating insomnia. A study revealed that 30% of menopausal women who used valerian supplements, about 530 mg twice a day, had an improvement in the quantity and quality of sleep. The positive thing is that valerian does not alter the circadian rhythm, that internal clock that tells you when it is day, when it is night, when to stay awake or when to fall asleep. However, keep in mind that excessive doses are associated with an excess of anxiety and possible panic attacks. For this reason, even international associations advise against valerian in pregnant or breastfeeding women or in children under three years old. The fifth drink you can use is peppermint tea, which is now very well known in the culinary environment, precisely because it is easily included in recipes. It seems to have positive effects on sleep, but sleep is not the only indication for the use of this tea, as it also seems to have antiviral and antifungal capabilities and is therefore perfect for fighting infections from viruses or bacteria. In some studies, it also seems to help people with digestive problems or irritable bowel syndrome. However, keep in mind that due to its effects, it should be kept at bay and avoided in people taking diabetes or high blood pressure medication. The sixth drink to facilitate sleep and to drink before going to sleep is warm milk. Warm milk has always been passed down from generation to generation, from grandmothers to mothers to daughters, precisely because it seems to facilitate sleep. The reason is that warm milk is rich in tryptophan, this amino acid that promotes the production of serotonin, serotonin that then induces the production of melatonin. Therefore, tryptophan serotonin melatonin, melatonin the final hormone that is precisely the hormone that must increase and that should increase even in your case just before going to sleep to indicate to your body that it is time to rest and to reconcile with sleep. Numerous studies seem to confirm how warm milk can induce a state of drowsiness, although in other studies this has not been confirmed and there are still doubts. Perhaps it could simply be an induced state, a possible placebo effect. In any case, you can use warm milk precisely to insert it into your pre-night routine so that your body knows that automatically every time you drink milk you have to go to sleep and therefore learn this automatic consequence, a consequence that is probably also related to when we are children, we are newborns, in which it is clearly seen how the child, once breastfed, then falls asleep easily, either because he is full or because he is simply tired from breastfeeding. But there is another drink, the seventh, that perhaps you do not know, which is even better than warm milk, golden milk. What is golden milk? It is warm milk as previously described and therefore with all the benefits of tryptophan, serotonin and melatonin, but in addition, in this milk we sprinkle a little turmeric and ginger, turmeric and ginger that are powerful anti-inflammatories that have been shown to reduce the risk of anxiety and panic attacks and therefore consequently also facilitate falling asleep. In this case, you will not only have the benefits to combat insomnia and facilitate sleep, but you will also have all the anti-inflammatory benefits of these two powerful spices, turmeric and ginger. If you want to know which other spices have anti-inflammatory properties, click here above because I have made a dedicated video so that you too can know which spices to add to your recipes to greatly increase the antioxidant power of what you eat. The eighth drink before going to sleep is almonds, almonds that are rich in fiber, minerals and anti-inflammatory components. In this case, you can eat them whole, which is certainly effective in lowering your risk of insomnia, as demonstrated in a study done on 442 university students who only needed to eat 10 almonds a day to see an increase in the time they slept and an increase in the quality of their sleep. But in addition, almond milk and violet oil with almonds and sesame has always been used by traditional Iranian medicine precisely to combat insomnia. This milk is produced by blending almonds with water and then filtering the pulp and is exceptional precisely because it maintains some of the fibers of the initial product, it maintains melatonin and many minerals that facilitate sleep such as magnesium and potassium. In recent years, in fact, magnesium seems to have shown excellent potential precisely for combating insomnia, especially in the elderly and in people over 70 years old. If this is your situation, why not take some almonds? Eat a handful every day that will certainly do you good not only for sleep but also for your cardiovascular system, your muscular system and even your skeletal system. In addition, alternatively, you can drink almond milk, perhaps making it at home your way. The ninth and final alternative, the ninth drink to drink before going to sleep is a higher level than almond milk. It is the almond and banana smoothie. 
In this way, we will have all the benefits of almonds added to the benefits of banana, which provides fiber, potassium and magnesium, potassium and magnesium that are two essential minerals for muscle relaxation, precisely because the muscle, after contracting, to relax needs the correct amounts of magnesium and potassium in the bloodstream and between one cell and another. The more you provide through the diet, the easier it will be for you to relax the muscles, have fewer contractions and therefore also feel more predisposed to fall asleep when you lie down in bed. Try adding almonds, banana, maybe an ice cube and if you want even a sprinkle of cocoa or green tea matcha in your smoothie. They are all very powerful anti-inflammatory ingredients that will do you good for a long and disease-free life and will probably also facilitate your ability to fall asleep. Before concluding this video, however, I invite you to put a thumb up and subscribe to the channel and keep in mind that if on the one hand these drinks can help you fall asleep, there are two that must be absolutely avoided. The first is coffee. Coffee, which after all is a healthy drink rich in minerals and anti-inflammatory ingredients, is however advisable not to drink after noon precisely because it does not reconcile with sleep and will keep you awake since your body generally takes between 5 and 7 hours to have the levels of caffeine in your body. The last coffee available should be noon at the latest, 1 o'clock at the latest to be able to arrive at 8-9 in the evening and be able to reconcile sleep without any caffeine in the body that interferes with this thing. The other drink, however, to be absolutely eliminated because it is harmful in all forms for your body is alcohol. When I say alcohol, I do not mean only super alcoholic spirits, but all types of alcohol, from vodka, gin, whiskey, but also beer and the much proclaimed red wine. On red wine, we have all been victims of a powerful media advertising campaign that has pushed a lot, making traditional medicine believe that it was good, it was an excellent ingredient for lowering cardiovascular risks. In reality, unfortunately, even wine with alcohol does not have positive effects for health, which fortunately, however, are balanced precisely by the presence of the red skin in the wine that has anti-inflammatory components that balance the negative effects of alcohol. This, however, does not mean that red wine is good, it simply means that it does not harm the cardiovascular system precisely because it contains resveratrol, which is a powerful anti-inflammatory. However, alcohol, especially in the evening, has a very, very negative effect precisely on your sleep and on your ability to reach REM sleep, that is, the most restorative one. Studies on young university students have seen that just one glass of wine or one glass of beer before going to sleep is enough to completely forget 50% of the things learned the same day. The reason is that your sleep cannot enter deep, you can no longer have REM sleep, which is precisely that deeper sleep in which the immune system is strengthened, in which your brain reproduces all the things that happened during the day to learn them in depth. I am sure that you too have had the experience of how, after trying to learn something day after day, perhaps an instrument, and having finished the day without succeeding, then sleeping on it, you wake up the next morning able to do that seemingly complicated activity precisely because sleep is the moment when your brain takes all the time to reanalyze what it has learned, what you have done during the day and improve itself. When you drink alcohol, this ability to reprogram and reanalyze is completely lost because you do not enter REM sleep and this is the main reason why you wake up in the morning, even if you have been in bed for 8 9 or even 10 hours, but you do not feel rested. Your body has not been able to enter REM sleep. The main culprit is alcohol or sometimes caffeine. Therefore, absolutely eliminate all types of alcohol. I have already talked about it in another video. Click here above if you want to learn more. When you eliminate alcohol, one of the greatest benefits is precisely that it will improve your memory. It will improve your ability to focus. It will improve your sleep. Share your personal experience on today's topic with us. Write it in the comments and ask us any questions you may have, we will be happy to answer. Leave a comment so that we can perfect our creations. We will be happy with your simple like, but the most important thing is not to forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos.